folks. Michelle asked me a question about this ukulele. She wanted to know if it had steel strings on it, and it does. It had nylon strings on when I got it. And I always wanted to get my hands on one and see what it was like with steel strings because the uh, uh, the nylon strings don't seem to have enough pressure on them to make the uh, resonator really resonate. And the, string, the steel strings, um, I'm happy to report, really do make it sing. I got this uh, from a junk shop. It was pretty poorly treated and uh, the neck was dried out, frets were popping and cutting your fingers and there was a bit of bow back on it. But I always wanted to get my hands on one to uh, see what it would be like with steel strings. And when I put the steel strings on it, it uh, there was enough pressure on the neck so it was playable again which was really great and it sounds fantastic. <laughs> I played it like that for a little while and uh, did a couple of videos that you can watch if you want to. And um, a couple of days ago I went out in the shed and I tried to fix those frets and hammered them down and some of them uh, worked out alright and some of them, actually most of them did, but now I've got a couple of um, high frets and low frets and it buzzes a bit, especially on that note. Ugh, yuck. Anyway, uh, but Michelle's other question was, can you play slider on it? And yes, you can. Um, another thing to mention is that I need to put some higher geared tuners on it now because the, um, the steel strings are a bit harder to tune. Um, anyway, I'm going to improvise some, just some really simple 12 bar slide in G. Folks, there was some slidey kind of sounds, wasn't it? Uh, it's a good thing. Let's do some more work on it. Okay, so how are we going to do it? There's a little bit in it. There's some tricky things, but a, a lot of things that aren't tricky, but there's a lot of them. Uh, the first thing to know is we've tuned it different. So we've got a G chord. A low G, B, D, and a high G. Because we've got it tuned up to a chord, anywhere that we put our finger, we get another chord. So uh, G, A, B, C on the fifth fret. Now, when you use a slide, it's got to be right on the wire because otherwise it'll be out of tune. Because you forget when you're first starting out, because you're so used to putting your finger behind the fret. So it's a little bit out of tune. 
review on the marker. Um, and if you press too hard, you're gonna. Doesn't sound good when you slide like that, so it's just gotta glide. So we've got G is our main chord, C on the fifth fret is our four chord, and D on the seventh fret is our five chord. You can also play G at the 12th fret of course because everything repeats again when it gets to the 12th fret and on the 3rd fret whenever you're playing the G chord you can use the 3rd fret because it's full of really great notes there's a B flat which is a blues note in the scale there's an F, that's the other blues note uh, there's a D which is same as the open D and then you've got B flat again on the bottom. All of those sound great. That's G. Any way you play those three will be a killer. You don't have to play all the notes, you just play one note out of this. Same with all the chords. Whenever you change the chord, you don't have to feel like you have to play the whole chord. Just play one of the notes. So you gotta have that light touch so it doesn't fret out. And you gotta be mindful of being in tune by being right over the fret marker. Or the fret wire rather. This is probably a nice um, practice for you, just from the 7th fret. Fifth fret. Open. And we'll do two bars of the G, but one each of the other. Vibrato, so you've got to get your, your steel straight if it's like this, your chord's out of tune, so it's got to be straight. And if you move it, it's easier to sound in tune. So sliding up like a wave on the ocean or the wind in the sails. Oh, that didn't come out very good, did it? But those nice moves. If you go up to that D chord and then give it a bit of a bit of a wiggle, then is the progression that we're going to play. So the twelve bars means there's twelve bars of music. So one, two, three, four is one bar, and the um, progression is the order that we play the chords in. So we're gonna play uh, the G chord. Well, instead of trying to remember 12, you can learn this off by heart. You can write it down if you want, but try and learn it off by heart as soon as you can. Uh, so the first four bars, a G. The second four bars is two on C, two on G. So we can go that far. Um, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, C. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, two, three, 
four. So that's our first eight bars or two lots of four. And then we, our last lot of four is one on D, one on C, or one bar. So one, two, three, four. So two bars of G at the end. Uh, and then, if you like, you can put this little turnaround that I did, which was five, six, seven, and that'll make you want to play G again. Um, and then it starts all over again. Round and round you go. Four bars of G, two bars of C, two bars of G. One bar of D, one bar of C, two bars of G. Start again. So if you don't do the little turnaround at the end, you've got to count two at the end and then another four at the start. Now, let's try it. Two, three, four. Good luck. So much fun.